We are a long way from home. Eight journalists from Palestine at the United Nations in a five-week media program. But coming to New York wasn't only about meetings. We were with people from around the world. We were going to interesting places and we were eating really great food. Our travels even took us to Washington DC. But only moments before we went into the White House, the news started to come in. The calls, tweets and emails said Gaza under attack. Gaza was the lead story in news around the world. But at the United Nations News Center website, Gaza was buried at the bottom. I would be surprised, to be honest with you, if it wasn't, at least for a period, the top story. That Jim Landell is the chief of the Palestinian decolonization section with the United Nations. You have to understand that uh, there are lots of lead stories depending on your vantage point uh, within the organization. There are multiple crises, situations, uh, issues that are being tackled uh, on a daily basis. In fact, on that same day, United Nations peacekeepers were reporting that civilians were in danger in the Congo and the situation in Syria was deteriorating quickly. Obviously Gaza was an incredibly serious situation uh, and I think in time it received uh, the, definitely the attention that it deserved on uh, the UN platforms. Uh, it might have been that uh, once the Secretary General got uh, into the region uh, there was more news, uh, specific United Nations news uh, that was being developed and that generates the sort of content that would allow that to be put up as, as, as the lead uh, story. As you can see the United Nations is a huge place, it has a lot of committees, it has a lot of missions worldwide, peacekeeping missions, it has a lot of humanitarian uh, matters that they have to cover and for one journalist to cover all that is a big challenge. Nizar Aboud has been covering the United Nations for Al Mayadeen television for the past six years. The more you ask questions, the more you dig information. And a good journalist is the one who knows to ask the right question or the unexpected question sometimes. Because you have to surprise them with a question that probably they would not think about. And then they, because politicians try to tell as little as possible. We. Asking good questions is always a challenge for journalists. <laughs> Muhammad Al Alami is a journalist with Al Jazeera. The good aspects of covering this building is everything is close by. You don't have to take a cab. You know, you know, delegations all are here, and this is a very useful tool to meet the decision makers and question them and try to find out exactly where is the potential draft is going, left or right, what kind of disagreement on any given issue of the day. I never met any reporter who is complaining about lack of information about this issue, believe me, so there's no, no problem there. Uh, a lot of the work that the United Nations does, uh, especially in conflict prevention, is done away from the public gaze. Uh, by necessity, it, is, it involves quiet diplomacy, often behind closed doors, to try to prevent escalation in uh, violence or the deterioration in a particular uh, situation. There are many ways the UN provides information, and we saw this in action. In these days, you don't need to be located in a place even to follow up things by... You can visit the websites, you can follow up the webcasts live. A journalist who is reporting from Ramallah or from Gaza, etc., can follow these matters. And he can even interact with reporters who are at the United Nations. We have an association, the United Nations Correspondents Association, and he can send an email, ask, OK, can you please put this question to me? Or, and we will, of course, entertain that. While our group was in New York, we saw how private conversations and public information can make change in the world. On November 29, 2012, we watched as the world accepted Palestine as a non-member observer state of the United Nations. Like the situation in Gaza, the UN General Assembly vote 
was something we could report back home.